I am sure that most people in this room have some point in their lives heard of the phrase that bodybuilding or fitness stunts growth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this evening, will I not only prove this statement wrong, but list the many other benefits that come with a fitness journey earlier in life. My name is Amir Arash, and this talk will be targeted mostly towards a younger audience. But to any parents or adults that are looking forward to have children in the future, there will come a point in their lives where they will ask you for a pair of dumbbells, maybe even a yoga mat, or a gym membership, dare I say. And you have heard somewhere on Facebook or on social media that, oh no, if you go to the gym, you're going to crack every bone in your body, or if you consume protein powder, you're going to destroy your liver for good. Well, that's understandably so, because you do not want to put your child in harm's way. You are not exactly wrong, but you're not right either. The common misconception that lifting weights stunts growth is only a myth, and there are no solid pieces of evidence that can prove it not so. And this is not just me saying it, it is credible because many websites such as healthline.com prove me right. Another problem that is often brought up is the common occurrence of weightlifting related injuries. And this issue can be tackled by using a proper uh, workout and warm-up routine beforehand, using a personal trainer to help guide you, and or simply looking online to see how a certain exercise is done so that you don't hurt yourself. And something that I've uh, noticed throughout my years is that a lot of people are intimidated by the atmosphere of a gym, and they are not confident in themselves, and they feel insecure. And this is actually a popular thing, and it's called gym intimidation. And what I recommend in order to get over it is to simply maybe listen to music while you work out, work out with a friend, or again, have a personal trainer accompany you through your journey. There are a lot of things that I just said that seem very bad, but let me list out some of the benefits that I have experienced firsthand. So, stress relief. As young adults, we go through many things in our life that induce large amounts of stress onto us. For example, for me, I know that school makes me stressed out, life, social life as well, exams, all of these things which can lead up to an overload of stress that eventually go to this place where you can become ill because of it. Anxiety, insomnia, depression, indigestion, all of these things can be caused because of stress, something that we experience every day. What if I were to tell you that if you started working out today, after you've done a 30 minute or even an hour workout, your brain will start producing these things called endorphins, which are basically your brain's feel good neurotransmitters. What they do is that they go and tell the nerve cells in your brain that receive pain signals that don't receive the pain signals. So if you're feeling stressed out, you've had a very bad day, you go to the gym, do a quick workout, and then you're good for the rest of the night. Better posture. Exercising regularly strengthens your core and back muscles, which improves your posture. But why is this important? One thing I noticed is that all of us, and it's just not kids anymore, we're constantly hunched over on our phones, on a computer, on a video game, and our backs are simply bent over all the time. And this is not good for your spinal health over the long term. But if you start to exercise your muscles properly, you can help your posture be straightened up at all times. Confidence. A study conducted in Britain proved that more than 35% of people uh, that are below the age of 18 suffer from body dysmorphia. They are self-conscious self about how they look. And this is not a good thing. But by implementing a well-constructed fitness program, over the long term, you can make sure that your confidence shoots up to the roof and you improve your body composition. Discipline and better habits. Nobody is perfect, trust me. And we cannot go to the gym every single day. We cannot commit to our diet every single day. But the whole point of adapting this lifestyle is to realize that perfection doesn't exist. Consistency does. And by doing so, you will instill great discipline that will carry on to over so many more areas in your life. 
And I know this because when I started working out, I learned how to manage my time better. And this carried on over to my school life, and I can say that I'm doing great as a student. So that's another benefit. And there's another thing that also comes with the sport, is the installation of better habits. I am a horrible cook. But I was even worse before I started working out. I couldn't even fry an egg. That is embarrassing. But then a time came that I realized that if I wanted to see what I am putting in the gym on my body, I need to improve my diet. So I took it upon myself to learn some very basic macro-friendly meals, which also opened up a whole new door of endless and delicious recipes from all around the world. And last but not least, cognitive function. When you regularly exercise, you improve your brain's health. And who in here doesn't want a healthy and more equipped mind? Nobody. I know that all of these things I just said just sound like boring facts that you'd read through an article or hear in the news, but millions of people, including myself, can personally attest to them. When I was around... Um, Nine or eight years old, I was very fat, very, very fat. And uh, I did some blood work done. And when the results came back, uh, the doctor told me that I had a very fatty liver and that if I didn't stop eating so much junk food, I would be at a great risk of liver cancer. That statement shook me up. So I dedicated myself to my diet and things didn't improve, but again, not as I wanted it to. Fast forward a few years, I moved to Italy. I was around 11 or 12 this time. I enrolled in this school and I saw all of my peers being healthy, being happy, and do things with their bodies that I couldn't do. I couldn't even run for more than a few minutes at a time and it was embarrassing, I hated it. This issue snowballed into this phase where I was just so unhappy with myself. I hated how I looked and I hated that I wasn't able to be like my peers. And then I took it upon myself to ask and get help. I bought a pair of five kilo dumbbells, a blue yoga mat, and I looked up online how to do body exercises. And I can assure you that most of the exercises I did were completely wrong. But it didn't matter because I showed up and I did it again, again, and again, and I improved. I realized that I needed to take this a step further because I loved what I was doing and I could see the result. So at around 14 years old, I applied for my first gym membership, and the first experience was humiliatingly horrible. I had no idea what I was doing. All of the equipment was so alienated to me, and I was so, so self-conscious because there were all these massive old guys, and I was just a 14-year-old kid. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I saw all of these guys doing these exercises. I was scared. But then I realized that this is how life is. If you're constantly in your own bubble of comfort, you will never improve. You need to take great risks in order to see great results. And I want every teenager or adult who has experienced what I went through to take it upon themselves and realize that today is the day to change. That today is the day that I want to make myself a better person. And I want to dedicate myself to a lifestyle that will steer me towards absolute perfection. Thank you for listening. That's me. Thank you.